Hi, C. Bavoda here from BavodaSand.com with a quick tutorial on how to create a custom color swatch in Adobe Illustrator CS3. I'm working with a new blank document and one thing we need to make sure is that our swatches palette is actually visible so the check mark is right there and here it is on the right. I'm just gonna drag it out so we can focus on it for a bit. A few things you should familiarize yourself with in regards to the swatches palette are the swatch libraries menu on the lower left here and these are pre-installed installed color groups that um, come with Adobe Illustrator and over here we have our show swatch kind so we could actually just have our gradients or all of our swatches our options our new color group our new swatch our delete swatch and then up here some of the same options but also the ability to change the view if you want large thumbnails or even list um, I prefer small thumbnail view and over here we have some folders and these are actual color groups so we're gonna create a new color group just call it new group and with our new color group we're gonna come over here and create some new color swatches by just double clicking there bringing up the color picker I'm gonna create a nice blue something like that and okay and now we have two options once we've actually selected a color over here we could actually just click and drag it right into that folder and now it's become part of our color group but by doing that we actually then have to come in and double click it to bring up our swatch options so the way I prefer to do it I'm just gonna actually drag that over here is with the actual folder selected and the color selected over here just click on new swatch and right away it brings up our options we call this one new blue and color type process color leave it as that doesn't need to be global RGB is fine and okay and there it is right there quick and easy way to create a custom color swatch in Adobe Illustrator CS3